It's Mitch from Hard Intentions YouTube channel. And uh, I want to come on and say a few words before I get started. <clears throat> First of all, on the 20th, I believe, of this month, uh, we're going to have part two <coughs> of uh, Louis Max's podcast. He did an interview with me. It's called Grind and Pivot. Louis is a t-shirt guy from uh, Celsius Musician and all kinds of other crazy stuff from New York. And he did an interview with me to put on his uh, podcast. And he did part one. And now part two is coming out. And part three will be out. And it's pretty cool. Did a good job. And uh, appreciate it if you go check it out. Ch and uh, maybe give Louis's podcast, Grind and Pivot, a little support. <clears throat> also... One of our tier three uh, Patreon members, Jacobson, won a T-shirt. We did a, she did a drawing and uh, pulled his name out of the hat. So we need his uh, shirt size and his address, and we'll send him a shirt. Uh, we have different levels of Patreon. Uh, if you're a Patreon subscriber, send us your address and whatever tier you're on. We'll send you some stuff like some guys who send stickers and whatever. Um, some guys say, you know, that they have Patreon for content they're not allowed to put on YouTube because they don't get monetized. So they have Patreon guys get to view certain stuff. You know, we haven't had that problem yet um, with YouTube not monetizing our stuff or saying that we can't post certain stuff. And, uh, you know, when we first started doing it, they, would, they would, uh, wouldn't monetize stuff until we call them on it but uh we've always had our stuff monetized what we do with patreon though is um you know first off i just want to say we're grateful to all our patreon members i don't care if you donate a dollar man it's it really means a lot to us um it really does but like we had a t-shirt drawing and uh jacobson won the t-shirt drawing and uh you know we send stuff to guys prints stickers whatever that's what we do for our patreon members um, to us, it's a, a blessing to have people support us, and <clears throat> we just like to give a little something back to them. It means a lot to us. Um, yeah. Um, last Saturday, I didn't get to come on live because I had some business with my mom. Uh, excuse me. I've talked about my mom in the past, and um, she's like 78 now. But for the last 10 years or so, she's kind of been uh, not the same person she was when she was younger. But, um, you know, uh, she has some character defects that, uh, you know, I believe that if you don't work on your character defects when you're young, they get amplified when you get older. And her character defects are amplified now that she's older. She shares an apartment with another woman who's in her 70s, and she's kind of nice, but uh, my mom seems to think that uh, she hates her or something. I don't know. They don't get along. She doesn't get along with the, her roommate, and she kind of lives in her room. She has a bedroom with a bathroom and a porch, and uh, she doesn't... Uh, her roommate used to be a chef, so, I mean, we used to go over there for dinner once a month, and it was a cool deal, and then it just got to where... Yeah, it didn't work out because because of my mom's uh, attitude towards her roommate. So she barricaded herself in her room, and uh, <clears throat> you know she started eating in her room. She started buying these uh, these dope fiends or selling her their EBT um, food money, a you know, hundred bucks for two hundred bucks worth of EBT, and she would bring this food home and keep it in her room, and and. Uh, it got pretty bad, man. So we, we had to go clean my mom's room and her bathroom out. And uh, we took like 13, 14 trash bags, big trash bags, uh, you know, the big contractor bags out of her of trash out of her room. And we did uh, 15 loads of laundry. And, uh, you know, we had to go buy all new bedding for her bed. and. You know, basically clean her room up to make it habitable, put everything in shelves. Um, things that she just hasn't been doing for herself. She's just been living in this room. I mean, it, it was pretty bad. You could smell the room from the front door. So, you know, we did that. That's why we were gone Saturday. Uh, and we didn't get on. 
<clears throat> we wanted to, but some things you just have to uh, bite the bullet and do it, right? No matter what. And, uh, you know, she's my mom and she is, uh, you know, a human being and she needs help. So that's what we did Saturday. Um, but we will be on Wednesday Night Live. Yeah. Um, also, you know, I've been working. I haven't did, I didn't do any videos this week yet. Uh, I've been working and I haven't had time to sit down and do uh, an update on my uh, prison experience. I do have some interviews lined up. Uh, and I will do some more videos soon. Um, you know, my job is, uh, it's, uh, it's cool. I travel a lot. I drive all over Sacramento in my truck. I now have a company truck to drive because the business has grown a little bit. And, uh, <clears throat> I go to, uh, homeless encampments or areas where there's homeless, both. And uh, they have porta potties and portable hand wash stations, and they, we have trash cans there. And I change out the trash cans, and I rake up, and clean up all the trash, and keep the area kind of uh, clean, as clean as possible. And that's what I do. And uh, it, it's a good paying job, but it does take up a lot of my time. I have a you know 35 minute, uh, 35 mile journey down the hill, and 35 miles back up the hill at the end of the day, and so. That's no excuse, so I'm still doing my artwork and I'm still doing videos. Uh, I haven't given up. <laughs> and uh, I also want to say, um, besides our Patreon members, uh, we had a man uh, call uh, after a Saturday Night Live with WAC and donated some money to us for a computer. And then he called, no, it was a Wednesday night, I think. He called, donated some money to us to get a new computer. And then uh, he called later, a few days later. So, you know, he realized that wasn't enough. And he donated some more money towards us getting a new computer. So I just want to tell you, you know who you are. Uh, man, it touched our hearts, you know, because he said some things. Uh, reasons why he, he, he liked our channel and reasons why he wanted to donate. And uh, I just felt, man, it, it was a blessing, man, from him. And it was a blessing to hear the things he had to say about about us and what we're doing with this channel, my wife and I. So uh, thank you very much. And uh, we're having a computer built. We're not gonna buy a, a computer. We're having a guy who builds computers for gamers and all that stuff. He's building a custom computer for us, so we'll be able to upload videos faster. So you won't have to sit over here and wait three to five hours to upload a half-hour video, you know. So that'll be pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I, thank you very much. You, you know, all you guys that watch and guys that buy stuff from us, you know, our hearts go out to you, man. We love you people, and we, we're very grateful for the support. Um, I don't care, like I said, if a guy buys one sticker, you know, I usually throw in a couple extras. We appreciate it, man. And, uh, you know, the things he said to me when he donated that money to us really hit home. And then the other day I was coming home from work and I was on the headset and I got a call from uh, the wife and she said, hey, <clears throat> some guys in Ohio, uh, you know, NA meetings now are being held online with Zoom and all kinds of other stuff because they can't go because of COVID. And uh, she said they wanted to use one of my YouTube videos. I'm assuming it was one of the live ones where I talked about sobriety and stuff. Um, and then they were in a meeting. And I was like, wow, you know. Oh, it just blew me away, man. Um, you know, people say, hey, you got a positive message. And, you know, you're all this positive stuff, you know, about me. And I, and I don't really... You know, you know what they say, you don't let the right hand know what the left hand's doing, vice versa, whatever. I just do, I, I do the videos, I talk about stuff that I have been through, things that I think and believe or feel. And I don't really think about it being one way or another. I just, uh, I just put it out there, man. And 
the input I get, man, from from people who watch, just that blows me away. And the fact that uh, you folks out in Ohio want to use one of my videos for your NA meeting, um, I just want to thank you. <laughs> it means a lot to me. I went to a lot of NA meetings in prison, and you know, guys come in to visit. Um, well, not to visit, but to participate and chair the meetings from the street. Uh, my last prison I was at, this guy, uh, Mike, and some other guys, Eric, came in from the streets, and they're motorcycle riders, and I really liked them, gravitated to them, and I see them on Facebook and and uh, Instagram since I've been out, and, you know, I've been to a lot of any meetings, so to have one of my YouTube videos uh, um, used as a in a... NA platform really blows me away and I just want to say thank you and uh, yeah so I just wanted to come on and leave this message and let you know I'm going to be back at it don't uh, think I'm fading in the sunset or any of that kind of crazy stuff because I'm still here and I'll still be making videos and doing interviews and uh, coming out with uh, new artwork and shirts and all that crazy stuff uh, thank you very much Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you tomorrow night, Wednesday night, live. Whatever you do, remember, do it hard. Thank you. Good night.